Bliver 899. My carite noite faith was not accepted to be obtuse. My carite noite faith was not accepted to be obtuse. Okay. When I came into noite faith in 1999, leaving Catholicism and Pentecostalism behind me, I took to the seven laws of Noah pretty quickly. But within um, a few months, most likely, probably that year, 1999, I'd uh, heard about Karaite faith, Karaite Judaism, and I'd bought Art Scroll Tanakhs. And looking at the commentary in the Art Scroll Tanakhs down in early Genesis, the commentary at the bottom, on the sides of wherever it was, seeing the quotes from the Talmud, something fishy is going on with this because it didn't seem scriptural. And after a while, I concluded, now nah, this is this is this is not right. This Talmudic faith—it's just the rabbis. It's just, I suppose, looking back, the Pharisees developing their Judaism. It's development by the Pharisees. So that was the conclusions I reached early on in my Noahidism. So I, I became a Karite Noahide. There wasn't any Karite Noahides. I took a stand, and that's that was me. David Dryden, a Hesediah, had. Being a car right now, and I don't know his ex- ex- exact timing, early somewhere around that era as well. But he went into the Seven Laws system. He has a, he's on YouTube as well. Hesediah, Hesediahu, his messianic prophecies sort of video, um, how he disputes that Jesus is Messiah and things like that. You can find him on um, YouTube, Torah creation or something like that as well. But um, I didn't. Except Karite Noahide faith, the, the Karite way of Noahide faith, just to have a go at the seven laws and to be different. That was not the idea. It was done because I didn't think that the Talmud was what it claimed to be, and I still don't. I didn't think there was an oral law which transmuted all the way from Moses, all the way across the generations, up to the time that Judah Hanisi compiles out the Mishnah. That was not my belief. Uh, there's, there's points of the Tanakh where it teaches that in Josiah's time, I think it is, the laws completely disappeared and they found a copy of it in the temple. I mean, there's no way that the Mishnah and let alone the Gemaras are going to be transmuted orally over all that period of time by a select priesthood. It's, it's a ridiculous argument. The law had disappeared largely at times. Idolatry had beset Israel. It's just a joke, the argument. There was not an oral law going back to Moses. There isn't an oral law going back to Moses. It's just a latter tradition developed by Pharisaical Judaism. That's my belief. They're my convictions. So as I said, it wasn't chosen or accepted, believed in, because it was to be obtuse or to to be at odds with the Seven Laws of Noah movement. I'd much rather be able to go along with the main Noahide covenant movement, if possible, I'd much rather be a, a part of it if possible. But in good faith and in good conscience and according to the truth as I see it, it's not quite right. The biblical approach is more accurate and more true to the history of it. So that's what I accept. Car right now, I had faith.